it's Moose and thank you so much for joining me back here. I'm here with an actual like real video, not just on my phone. I have my camera set up and I'm in front of a bookshelf, so we're doing good. So if you keep up with this channel or any of my other social medias, you will know that I have had a baby. He's right here in a swing. If you hear it, that's what it is. But since I recently had a baby, I haven't really been able to do any wrap up videos or anything like that. So today we're going to do kind of a recent reads video, but it's going to be more of what I've read this year so far video, because I haven't really read that much this year in between getting ready for the baby and just having Ethan home so much and us doing other stuff together. I haven't really read that much, but I can't keep track of what I have talked about when I haven't. So we're just going to do what I've read in 2020 so far. So the first book I finished in 2020, I started it in December, I think, but I finished it this year. The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. This is the last book in the Folk of the Air series. I really enjoyed The Cool Prince and the Wicked King, and this is the last installment of that series. I enjoyed this book. And this was one of my most anticipated releases of last year, so I'm kind of surprised I haven't really talked about it here on my channel yet. I liked it, but it wasn't what I was expecting, in all honesty. Um, it was really good, but I wasn't as impressed with it as a lot of other people were. I don't know, I just felt like the ending was kind of eh. And the whole situation with Cardin, I felt like, I don't know. It ended how I expected it to end, but at the same time, I kind of wanted something different, if that makes sense. If you've read it, you'll you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. I think you, you can get the gist. If you haven't read it, hopefully that's not too much of a spoiler. The second book I finished this year was The Book Thief by Marcus Duzak. I had to reread this book and do like a assignment on it for one of my classes this year. I read this book first in high school, and then again, like I say, I just reread it this year. I liked it a lot more this time, I think, and it made me a lot more sad this time. I had forgotten a lot of what happened within the book, but rereading it made me really sad. <laughs> I talk more about this in my reading vlog if you want anything else about it. Then I read Wake by Amanda Hawking. This is book one in her Water Song series. Um, there's four books in this series, and I bought all four books back when I was in high school, and so I thought it was about time I got around to it. I did not care much for this series. I actually ended up being F in it, which I'll get to a little later um, when I actually start talking more about the books. But this is a YA series about sirens. And so I thought it was interesting. I thought it was an interesting concept. I like mythology and stuff like that, but it reads more like a contemporary book. And I'm just not much of a contemporary person. So if you like contemporary books with kind of fantasy elements, you might enjoy this series. It just wasn't for me. I'll actually just go ahead and talk about the rest of the series. So the second book is Lullaby. I did finish this book and this one was a little bit more interesting but at the same time I feel like not a lot happened. Um, it is over 300 pages for not a lot to have happened. So, And then Tidal is the third book in the series. And I honestly DNF'd this one pretty soon into the book. The whole reason I continued on with this series, I contemplated not finishing it when I finished Lullaby. But there was one story plot within it that I was interested in. And it kind of explained it in the very beginning of title. So once I kind of got my answer, I wasn't really invested in the story anymore. So I decided not to con continue on with this series. So yeah, that's that. I also read books one, two, and three of the series of unfortunate events. Book one is The Bad Beginning, book two is The Reptile Room, and then book three is The Wide Window. I have read the series before. I read it when I was in middle school, I think, um, when I was really little, and I really enjoyed it. So I started listening to the audiobooks, and I really enjoyed them, but I've kind of slacked off and haven't really finished the fourth one yet. But if you're looking for kind of a depressing middle grade series, I definitely recommend it. I feel like most people know what that series is about by now. I also listened to The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. This was a quick read. It only took about four hours, I think. It's kind of a dystopian novel, if I had to classify it as something. So the time traveler travels forward in time and kind of discovers a different kind of society. It re reminded me of Gulliver's Travels a little bit in that he kind of doesn't know how to interact with these new people. Um, but it was interesting if you're looking for a quick read or a quick listen of like a classic. I also tried to listen to A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I ended up DNFing this book. Um, really just because I listened to it on audiobook and I'm not very good at audiobooks. I tend to get distracted and lose focus. And so I listened to about five hours of this book and then realized I had no idea what was going on. 
So I ended up DNF in this one. I also listened to The Alchemist. This was another kind of classic that I enjoyed. I've listened to a lot more audiobooks this year than ever in my life, but this one was kind of easy to follow, so it was good for me. It's about this young man who is kind of trying to find his purpose in life, his legend, his treasure, however you want to put it, and so he goes on this journey looking for it. And he eventually finds it, spoiler alert, but I was disappointed by what he finds. I was kind of disappointed in what his treasure was. So yeah, there's that. I also finished The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Ethan and I are reading through this series together. We are currently on Mockingjay right now. No, no, we're on Catching Fire right now. He's never read the entire series. He's only read the first book. So we did finish the first book and now we're reading the second one. So that's kind of a current read. And then just recently I finished Lichgate by S.M. Boyce. This is part of the Grimoire Saga series. I don't know how to word that, but <laughs> this is an ebook series and it's fantasy. I don't really know specifically what it's classified as. Um, it could go either way. I could definitely see it being young adult. I tend to classify it as adult in my mind for some reason. I'm really not sure why. The content isn't that mature. That's why I think it could kind of be YA. Other than that, I am currently reading The Handmaid's Tale on ebook as well on my Kindle app. I'm really enjoying it. I downloaded it because it's free on Prime Reading and I didn't really think I would really be that into it, um, but I needed something to read late at night while I'm feeding Sam um, and it's just so much easier to read on my phone than to have an actual physical book like, you know, thrown around the bed and stuff like that. So I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm only about, I think like 15% of the way through according to my app, so I'm not that far, but I'm really enjoying it. And I'm also reading The Chronicles of Narnia. I'm only on the first book, The Magician's Nephew, and I'm only about 50 pages into it. I really need to read it because I am enjoying that one as well. So yeah, that's about what I've been up to here recently. Those are all the books that have just come my way in 2020, whether I finish them or not. Having a baby is very time consuming, so I'm actually surprised I've read this much. But I am looking forward to reading more in 2020. I definitely hope to finish the Grimoire Saga series and Chronicles of Narnia this year for sure. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe down below. You guys are awesome. I am thankful for you, and we'll meet back here next time, guys. See ya! My oven is done. Hold on one second.